This is the city of Mindelo on the island of Sao Vicente in Cabo Verde, Africa. And I've been here for five years now. I sailed here on my boat, Galopan. And I'm going to stay here a little while longer because I need to fix my boat and myself. I'm going to undergo inguinal surgery. And yes, here, on this island and in this city. But I got time and I'm taking full advantage. Our friend Fanny invited us to her friend's house, Didakas there behind me. He's a professional commercial boat captain and often at sea. And when he's home, well... And this is where I met my new friend Stalin, here next to Peter. Yeah, his name is Stalin. He's a dentist. He has a clinic here in the city. And I've got an appointment to see him. It's the rainy season, and a proper one this year. Cabo Verde is sending hurricanes across the Atlantic, and I've got a leak in one of my hatches. Oh, look what I got today. The stuff to replace uh, the seal on my um, hatch. Ordered this from Germany, and uh, was sent to my dad's house in uh, Switzerland, because he needed to send me another thing, a bank card. It was received in seven days, okay? So, you can receive things here in Mindelo without any problems. And I'm going to be able to replace the seal and no more leaky rebirth, let's hope. And on the weekend, music was playing across the bay. Meanwhile, back on Galapan. Here's the old stuff, man. See why it was leaking. Look at that. It's all cracked. Let's hope, that, let's hope this works, man. Why did I wait so long to fix this? I don't know. I guess I like a little bit of suffering. <laughs> Leak's not fixed. It's coming from somewhere else. I'll investigate another time. I got another problem to deal with now. Well, I'm now in the process of removing my uh, boom. Still got the lazy bag to take down, the mainsail down, and I'm gonna bring the mainsail to Tuga to adjust it a little bit and fix my other one so I have two, two mainsails. So, this is a slow ongoing process, but it's a nice day, and there's no wind, just a light breeze. It's not too, too hot. You see, that is quite the problem, eh? And I found the most recommended welder in the city. He can fix this while I'm recovering from surgery. I've got Aldilson here who will help. I got my sails back quickly from Tuga, but no boom for the moment. Just received my sails from Tuga. He uh, took a few centimeters off my main sail that I bought from Jean. He also fixed my old mainsail that was a bit of a patchwork and uh, now I have two sails, two mainsails. So now I'm waiting for my boom and once I get that I'll be able to decide which sail I'm going to use. Meanwhile, one Sunday afternoon, while peacefully on Galapa, this happens. This is Stephanie, better known as Fanny. She's quite the socialite here. Just about everyone knows her. 
And here she is on Gallopon. And then she invited her cousin. This is Dailin. She's definitely got some of those fanny jeans. Seems to love a good time and sure isn't shy. She brought her friend Danny. They're just friends, she says. I believe it, because he was really taken by Fanny. And boy, Fanny loves the attention. Somebody had brought a smoke, and I became very self-aware of what was going on around me. I felt like I was in a social experiment, observing Cape Verdean culture, and yet being part of it. I couldn't understand everything they were saying. They would speak fast and use slangs and colloquialisms. But the body language sometimes was pretty clear. Fanny is just playing with Danny here. Later, Fanny asked me if her friend Didokas could come. He would bring drinks. And here's me and Dailin. She has that same magnetism as her cousin. But those eyes and smile are... Well, I just had to capture this on video. She was a little shy at first, but then, you know... And Fanny? Well, here she is at her best. This is like a telenovela or Cape Verdean soap opera. Man, imagine Fanny starring in her own show or web channel. A lot of women here on TikTok, they're used to be online, they show off. They're great at it, and they're hot. I think there's a potential here, huh? And look, I think there's something going on between D. Dawkins and Dailene. I know D. Dawkins. He's a great guy, he's cool. Merchant Marine captain. Usually, Galapai and I are not too keen on having guys aboard. But these two are pretty cool. Well, no doubt about it, Didokas is cool. And poor Danny, well, he's suffering. He so would love to hook up with Fanny. He asked me what he could do to win her over. Told him it was easy. Just give her what she wants. What's hard, though, is knowing what she wants. And here we are, three dudes watching the soap opera. Which one of us has a chance here? It's the old white dude, a handsome boat captain, and a young mechanic. Do we even have a chance? And do the girls even give a crap? They're just playing us. I could sense admiration between the two cousins, but also competition. Dailene is a fierce stare-down player. Watch. She got me earlier. Things got too hot? Well, it's pretty cool to have your own private pool.
all that I got, oh, I confess with each beat of my heart, oh, I'll be true. So I'm not giving you up, no, I'll give you all that I got, oh, I confess with each beat of my heart, oh, I promise you, oh. The show would continue with star and co-star. We would observe and participate. Danny kept trying, Fanny kept playing. In the end, it was all just part of the Fanny Phenomena. Here I am in front of the uh, Urgemel Clinic hospital the reason why I went up there is to get an estimate how much everything would cost and it's about 1500 with everything so the surgery room the surgeon anesthesiologist uh, a day in the uh, a day in the hospital and you know all the little analysis and uh, examinations and stuff right there I paid 40 bucks for a long x-ray and the cardiogram whatever that was to analyze my my heart 40 bucks man thanks for coming aboard Gatapine winded voyage this is our studios you know it's the good people on Patreon who are making this happen and keeping us afloat. Hope you'll join our community there. Uh, we've got a lot of cool extra perks this year, like live updates, news, photos, videos, and I've even taken a stab at writing some short stories which are not for general audiences on YouTube. Plus, our friend and patron Graham started a WhatsApp chat that he aptly called Galapan's Cockpit. Guys from all over have joined, and we can talk and chat uncensored, say whatever we want and discuss anything. And it's this community that's contributing to the continuation of this Living Adventure series. Or you can watch for free on YouTube, just make sure to give us a like or dislike or leave a comment and definitely subscribe. So thanks for coming along on Winded Voyage, man.